If the camera could see how red your face was getting and how the veins were just protruding out of your skull, they'd be concerned. Oh, yeah. Young Father's Coco Sugar is finally here. Many of you have called it Album of the Year. I thought you were doing Young Thug. I can't do Young Fathers, they're trash, man. I want to do Young Thug. New slime season, bro. Slime season, Young Thug. So while Higo cries because we're not doing Young Thug, <laughs> we're going to do Young Fathers. I don't think <sighs> our top 10 can take any more great albums. I don't think so, bro. We're eight <sighs> months into this year. So I just realized that Young Thug's trash, so I don't care. Young fathers, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you better watch your face. <laughs> oh, shit, you got the moves. You're great. You had the fucking, uh, fucking uh, block. In karate, when I did martial arts when I was a kid, uh, they, did, they teach you these blocks. One of them is a, it's like when you do kata, you do these martial arts routines. Yeah. You don't have to put this in. But they do. Ba, da. Young fathers, Coco Sugar. In my view, it was an incredible track with an incredible music video that we have done mm. a review of, so you can go watch it now. And we've both gone back to it multiple times because we both really enjoy it. Sorry, what was that? Multiple no? times. Multiple, <laughs> multiple, 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 multiple <laughs> times to his five. But yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking excited. Like you said, I don't know if our top 10 can take any more hits because I've got mine. And it's hard enough already halfway during the year to get this shit through. Actually, we're three quarters of the way through the year now. First track is See How. Is there a music video? Fuck no. I was gonna join your poly on. What a name. So you see their names, I see, I see. Aloysius, Chaos, and Graham. <laughs> and Graham. Black guy. intro yeah quite subtle and soft but grand at the same time with the choir building yeah up at the end. i was gonna say the choir and also was that the instrument that was that like a an old like it's not like an old rusty sort of tin fence in the wind like the did you hear also this or maybe that's the same thing we're talking about this violin that was oh, kind of was, off yeah like a yeah exactly not violin i said it was like a tin yeah, fucking like, shed in the wind uh I think that's violin, man. <laughs> Not sure if that's a tin shed. Um, but yeah, it's a. Uh, I feel like the listen to the rest of this album is going to probably make more sense with that. But some really cool sounds going on. Some cool shit. Yeah, pretty minimal uh, lyricism on there, but there's a big unreviewed annotation on here. I remember, mate, you meant to feel it. Oh, I feel. You're not meant to fucking read it. Nothing. FIFA there. What? Is FIFA there? Is FIFA what? FIFA! It's not fair. <laughs> I thought this track was nothing. I said nothing. Watching an old movie on a projector. I fucking love that. The background vocals are quite. Oh. They're quite bright and, and pretty. And they, they're not necessarily like the center of attention too. They're kind of like an instrument in themselves, like a part of like- Very good point. It's like it's an instrumental very track. Very good point. And just say, similar to the first track, I think we're gonna hear a layered background vocals throughout the whole thing. Yeah, I, I love that piano too. It didn't sound like, I'm so used to hearing because piano most of these days is done via apps and all that sort of shit. It legit sounded like I was just in a room with a piano and someone was just playing Maybe it. a saloon of some sort. <laughs> Maybe a saloon, a room of that saloon. But no, mm. just like, because I grew up playing a piano and it just sounded like exactly like that. Yeah, like, like just, raw. And you could even hear like the echoing sound. of the pedals. Like it was just like... They just kept it natural. Completely. I love that. I think that's what we're going to get on this album is a very natural, raw energy. And you're, they're doing, I think, a lot with not much. 
especially with the with the words they're saying as well it's quite it leaves room for ambiguity and kind of the listener to fill in the gaps mm. like what the hell was that song about you tell me I fucking couldn't tell you. Did you hear the Fee Fi? It was about a toxic relationship. <laughs> Fuck me. I think every fucking track we review is about a toxic relationship at this point. Is this Rosalia? Hey, I leave Rosalia alone. She's beautiful. Fuck. I'm not going to leave her alone. She's beautiful. I'm going to call her up and say, hey, baby, how you doing? <laughs> She'll be like, who the fuck are you? You're like, <laughs> I'll tell her. And then she'll be like, okay. <laughs> she'll be like, okay, so you mentally retired. <laughs> Nice to meet you. <laughs> no, but the track called FIFA, the, the, the repeating FIFA Fo Fum, what's that from? That's from um, Jack and the Beanstalk. Exactly. So then when I open this up, because I don't know, I have to read it because I'm like... Oh, I... it's a nice track called Fo Fum. No, mate. Let me finish, Jack. This song offers a tension between two strong feelings started by miscommunication. On one side, you have the giant whose home is being invaded, feeling defensive, aggressive, and hungry. Mm. On the other, you have Jack, fearful, who's fearful and the cause of this mess and high on adrenaline. So it's kind of mm. conceptualizing uh, this. Um, Not just Jack's side, but also the giant's side. Yeah, and then maybe of how that can be symbolic of relationships yeah and also how like as a friend towards someone like you only ever hear one person's story and you only view the person who is the other person as the giant you don't know the giant story i like that man so this is obvious this is not official but this is just oh, yeah, someone's yeah. interpretation amazing track i love it and it flows so well after the second track too now that we know the, the where it fits in after those keys and just like and it's the first time we hear them actually really vocalizing them yeah like it's, it's and, yeah and yeah i get it yeah i know what you're gonna say like singing and, and having a verse like after those the the, the tr tracks are like just building it and building it into this like it's just it's just so beautiful so it's almost like those intro interlude type melodic instrumentals into this yeah Crescendo. I wonder if we're going to get more of that in between these tracks or if, the, or if we're just going to continue getting some more vocals. Yeah, now. I'm really curious about that too. Oh, but I bought you a new toy and it's in the mail for you and I really think you're going to enjoy it. So if you guys want to hear our full... Sorry. <laughs> if you guys want to hear our full views and thoughts on that track, go ahead and watch a single review. Yep. Um, loved it. Kind of zone out, huh? Zone out, ah. What was yeah. the instrument that's like? Da, 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 I don't know. I think their production is quite groundbreaking in a lot of ways and quite unique mm. and eclectic. I think so as well. And I also quite like how the I think it's um uh, chaos that has the the voice singing in most of that track. And the way that is like, it kind of like feels a little mellowed out. Like it's not the, the focus once again. Like it's kind of like, dun, dun, dun. It's but like the instrumentation, instrumentation is like the same level as it. And it's just riding with it. Like once again, their vocals are like just a part of, like just another instrument to go with this track. So you just really zone out. Right. So okay. we are getting these differences between tracks where sometimes the lyrics will be the focus, but sometimes the music's the focus. So. I think they balance it well so far. Um, mm. but the genius doesn't even know who's does what part like there's no names attached to any yeah. of these verses so it's pretty hard to distinguish but we want to touch on the the uh, once again ambiguous cryptic lyrics yeah. this for sure sounds like an album that really grows on you like this, this doesn't seem like something from a first listen that you're just gonna fall in love with like i'm sure people have but this really just 
listening to this type of music just really feels like something that the more you listen to it, the more it just really becomes a part of you. Right. Here's the thing about progression. I didn't work this damn hard to stay where I belong. I didn't work this damn hard to stay where I belong. It's an interesting way to phrase something and quite um, like thought-provoking, I think, that mm -hmm. phrase. And then again, the chorus that's repeating, my eyes blue, I'm not like you, I'm not like you. Don't you turn my brown eyes blue. And I think that may be symbolic for like a world that wants you to be one way, but you're trying to be another. The world wants you to have blue eyes. Right. Or like family, friends trying to put you in this direction. Mm. You're trying to go the other way. So maybe that's symbolic of something like that. Mm. Next track is... Is Lord up there? Yes, it is. Fantastic. It's the man on the horse. Ain't you never seen a... On a horse? Uh, you ain't seen Chief Keef new Porsche? <laughs> nah, you ain't seen shit yet. Better not forget shit. Uh. Is that the same guy as the intro video? Oh, is that, sorry, in my view, who started in my view? Yeah, it's captivating, isn't it? And you're getting two completely different sides, like... No. No. No, stop it. Because you're getting, like, the side of, like, the beauty, but you're also getting, like, flashbacks to pain and, like, suffering. Like, blood all over yeah. him. Yeah. It's like he's drowning or he's being baptized, dropping in the water. Really interesting oh. symbology here. I love... And once again, we're getting that, that piano that just sounds, like, so pure and raw. Like, we're not getting... And it's weird because on top of that, you get the like you're getting that real heavy electric sort of echoing guitar, or maybe it was as well. So as much as you're getting some raw instruments, you're really getting some big electronic sort of influences throughout the track as well. I don't know if those are meant to represent two different sides or to coincide with the track, but really beautiful, man. The, yeah. the vocals as well, like towards the end as it was building and building, I, I don't know what to make of it. Neither. All I just feel is emotion and energy. Yeah. Like passion, pain, demon slaying. <laughs> yeah, a beautiful track. Like, it's just going to need multiple listens to try and make my own sense of that. An enjoyable album so far. Yeah. Tracks cool, that's how I feel. Wow. It just like I just felt emotional that whole track. Got a little tear here. I, I reckon that's tear. this album, man. I love the organ that was like powering that track and like the that metronome sounding. Dun, yeah, dun, it dun. really drove this track well. And what the hell did they do with their vocals? It felt like it was vibrating at Yeah, times. I felt the same. Like it, watery vibrating. Like, that's that's where it triggered my emotions. Like yeah. each time their voices vibrate, like it's kind of vibrated with me as well. Yeah really powerful track that just sort of like really just made me to zone the fuck out and reflect uh tremolo is that a type of uh it's a pokemon tremolo tremolo is it actually no it should be 
What that song reminds me of something. Play, play my soul, dun, 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 and save my soul. What is that from, bro? Come on, help me here. Save my soul. Love my soul. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Dun, 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 love me. Dun, What's making me think of? And if I die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Oh, tremolo means trembling effect in music. A troubling effect. Trembling effect. So that's what a tremolo that's means. That's what their vocals did. Right. That oh, makes complete sense. Effect. And it kind of has this trembling feeling. It's very Ooh. powerful. I also just realized, you know the guy that was in that Lord video? Lord, yeah. It was, you know the guy that didn't have the beard that's in the middle? He shaved his beard for that video, in my view. Same dude. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that I was, what, yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, I thought start. you were saying it was the, the other dudes that were in like, the face thing at the start. No, no, no. Oh, so yeah. These lyrics are really interesting and tremolo. I got the torch on in the dark and I'm searching for the light, but all I see to find is nothing. I got the torch on the dark. That's because you've already got the light from the torch. So you've the light's already there. That's a really good line. Aren't you a fucking wizard? <laughs> oh, you got the torch, Harry. Well, you don't need the light. The light's in the torch. You know what else is really cool? Me getting this in the bin. You dickhead. You absolute cock mania. Did it go in the bin? Did it? <laughs> Couch. So I want to point out one of the lines. I got the torch on in the dark and I'm searching for the light, but all I seem to find is nothing. Foraging to find all the echoes of the past with a little bit of luck, it'll lead to something. I feel like that echoes a sentiment that every human struggles with. Like every human can relate to that on some deep, um, very primal way whether they consciously understand it or not i think young fathers are demonstrating the unconscious and the unknown and the with music who evil because i'm evil right? like this very first comment is yeah everybody has a dark side we're all complicated the very first thing from young fathers <laughs> I think it's to do with this album, like, like commenting about, like the Lord video, how like everyone's a dark side, matter of displaying it. the track with the least amount of lyrics on it just repeating ego and wow probably one of the most intangible tracks to it i just couldn't grasp it yeah still had those same keys that we've been hearing the guitar was more so the highlight and like there was that random scream when they're like wow well, that's ego i imagine that's what they're trying to demonstrate is ego it's definitely one of those other tracks where you just zone out you just really just get lost in there like a lot of this album it's just an album where you're just truly just feeling general emotions just come forward Yo, I'm a body girl, yeah, I got body girls, yeah, I make good get wet, I make good get dressed, I mean, undressed, yeah. 50k, it's coming. <laughs> Alright, we won't be able to help ourselves, bro, we'll make like 20 tracks probably. <laughs> we'll just make a really fucking good track. And it'll blow up and then we'll have to quit this and become rappers. Imagine some shit like that happen. Imagine yeah. if that's how like... Imagine if we got like, like... 300 million views off a track and, and then and we, and we we're gonna get signed i'm done i'm done i would bro, i would just be it. like sorry jungle peace <laughs> we're becoming fucking we're selling our souls <laughs> that's, that's what happened with rich chica what do you mean uh that stick he got huge and then america signed him america signed him oh sorry 88 rising but he fucking went, country signed well him. america paid him to fly over there and record with artists and tour Isn't it nice to have some socks with no holes in it? It's pretty rare, that one Thank you, time. Patreon. <laughs> it's always funny seeing like the big orchestras and the guy in the corner with the triangle. Or the guy with the symbols, like... Yeah, the symbol guy got a big job though. He fucks up the timing. It's all him, bro. Yeah. I wasn't really engaged on that track. I didn't feel captured, except the choir was quite pretty. Again, they use it a lot, the harmonizing vocals together. I would have liked a bit of a, a beat change or a, something a little more uh, 
creative and engaging on that, but I'm not mad at it. I feel like that's not the, the part of this album. Though. I feel like this album is definitely just meant to just zone out and just feel. And that's this is very similar to the last track, like like similar instruments in a way, but just in a way that just it just keeps like building in a way. Like the voices in most of these tracks are constantly like building, like with the choir at the end there, how it just like gave me like I was in a church and like people were just like praying for my soul or some shit. You'd love that, wouldn't you? Fuck no, I hate church. But um, <laughs> it's just segregated 67.9% of the audience. Bye bye. Bullshit, man. No one gives a fuck about Christianity these days. Probably, maybe not our audience so much, but I yeah. wouldn't say no one. It's. Not, uh, I wonder the popular percentage of people. Pull that up. Pull that up. Pull the statistics and up. And then pull me off with your teeth. <laughs> yes, uh, he's pissing. I don't think this is, picture's going to move. <laughs> Oh wait, he's moving. He's pissing, bro. Didn't you see it? He had a pee stream. Yeah, well, I can't see much, can I? I'm fucking a bit blind. <laughs> Head into the promised land, rule by the masculine, tied to the country, can be even better, and I check a check a change, not get a drown, yeah, I'm holding it. Whoa. That's cool. So cool. The handprint. He's like the Joker of the group. Dead and they got it, they were dead before. Oh, shit, good pickup. That's fucking creepy. I love these fucking colors, man. One of my favorite tracks in the album, honestly. And that video was really well done, too. Just the what is it? What's that type of um color thing? Heat, heat signature, or yeah, it's like something you, like an x ray type of vision, or yeah, there's, not a, there's but... a word for it. I just can't think of it right now. There's an actual word for that type of color. Yeah, I've never seen any music video like that. I've seen two that are like that. Ace of yeah. Rocky's done it before, and um, uh, my homie Jay Daniels, he did one as well. It's quite impressive. Like, how do you how do you do that? It's really easy, actually. It's just, it's just the color settings. You can, I can do it on Adobe. You just you just do something. It's on it's on most phones as well. Most phones have the option to do it when you're on your camera. Well, the camera they were pivoting off. That looked really cool. The, oh man! In, and just, zoomed out. And how it started off with this guy like being really far back, and it zoomed in, and you couldn't really see because it was dark. And then the, the color switching, and you could see everything going on. It's kind of like you can't see what this guy burying his body because it's night, and you're not meant to see him. Like he's not meant to be seen. And then like you see, and then the end where it's just like all the dead wake up as they say like the dead is awoken. So yeah, I think it was great timing. Yeah, really, really fun track, but yet yeah, also a lot going on. Visuals like probably my my favorite track so far in terms of the whole package from the first listen. And the verses, like there were a lot of verses, there was a lot being yeah. said as well, so there's a lot to uncover. Really fucking, really fucking good. I'm just right to work with these dudes. This is very different feeling. Like a video game feel again. It's like no update when time. I said like I was in like a like a, a country town rave. Country town rave. You've been to a couple of those, have you? Howdy ya! You don't want to talk about that track? No, I think it had a really cool sonic to it. It had this really like bouncy kind of video game bounce to it. And yeah. I think it's a nice interlude between this track and whatever we're hearing now. Toy. <laughs> That's so creepy, bro. <laughs> Fuck. Are you epileptic, bro? Uh, I hope not. <laughs> they didn't give any warnings. Promise we stay in the 
So it's all a dream? I don't think so. You see the kid wake up in the end though? Yeah. That was really cool. I think that's a very clever way to symbolize what's happening in America now. Not just America. Oh, do you, I guess like he's talking to leaders Because these guys the from world. Scotland as well, you're going to remember. Like definitely the world, I'd say. Oh, that's right. They're not, they're not American. They're Scottish. They're Scottish. They're Scotlandish. <laughs> wow. There was, there's just so much going on, man. From like, I like how the depiction of people ruling the world yeah it's through like kids through kids and also the idea of um maybe kids growing up and being treated in a way that makes them not really grow up in a sense and also just having war is this big this big idealism of something that constantly keeps happening and keeps forcing us to kind of like it's and also because this album is about the darker side of you so it's kind of representing that dark side of like as much as we preach love and preach all that sort of stuff like war is just war and constantly having those thoughts of it is just always in the back of your mind like yeah. they're just there and it's still around us today like so. it's a constant threat of humanity yeah so there's just so many just little hidden messages in here that i can't make complete sense of but they're just like they're just tweaking did you think through the kids like uh, for me i interpreted as like the main protagonist um caucasian kid he was donald trump well he was running away at the beginning running away yeah he was running away remember when it was flashing he was running away from like all the other little guys Right, so who knows what that symbolizes? Are you sure it's Donald Trump? Well, I'm not. I'm just guessing. I'm yeah. just making an assumption. Like when he's in the office, when he's talking to who I, who it looks like, you know, the North Korean. The, yeah, the North mm. Korean leader who uh, they actually met early this year, um, and other leaders of the world in Africa and and I think China. Mm. So I found that extremely thought provoking and interesting. A really amazing video, and a really not only was the song like. Uh, thought-provoking in that manner, but it was also quite enjoyable to listen to too, so... Yeah, sonically. <sighs> My brain's just a splatter of fucking bugs right now, man. I gotta pick up all these pieces and put them back together like an entomologist and figure this shit out. Silly little boy! Look guys, uh, let us know what we missed and how you interpreted that video. Probably the one that's got me stumped the... the most, as in, in terms of having lyrics... Take your money, but you hate your kind. about with my dad. This track to me, hold on, seems like a very concluding, finalizing way, but it was all, almost more optimistic. It had this kind of brighter light to me, um, and I found that quite nice and refreshing. But if, is it refreshing when they're saying you're never going to find your way to heaven? Yeah, if you listen to the lyrics, it's kind of dark, right? It's kind of like, whoa. But, but it's in a lightish way. Yeah, with the instrumentals and the way they're singing and harmonizing with each other. I'm like, that's how, it's like it's packaged in this optimistic manner. Mm -hmm. I mean, to me. <laughs> reminding me a bit of James Blake at times too. Yeah, this... You're perplexed. I am, like, I still enjoy that track in many regards, but like, as, as after listening to this album and feeling as a whole, it's just like, I'm just left feeling very confused. Like, I'm not feeling good about it. I'm not feeling bad about it. I just feel puzzled. But we've never... We often don't remove music like this. We yeah. Music like this. It's just like, I want to go back to it, but not straight away. Like, I'm feeling kind of like a little bit like odd about it. Like, I want to just like maybe go back to it after a few days and give it another listen and just see how I feel about it then. Because it's just so... It's a very powerful album. It forces you to think things you don't want to think. Very emotive, huh? Yeah, like... 
A lot of this album really has got my brain ticking to sides that I just don't want to be ticked over to normally <laughs> because it makes you think things that you don't want to think about. And I think that's the power of what this you, album. What, in regards to what? Like, because I feel like a lot of the lines have been quite cryptic. Or is it more kind of how it makes you feel? I think it's a big part of it, yeah. It's making me think about a lot of decisions I've made or maybe like a lot of dark feelings that I've felt that like I don't want that I want to keep hidden. Interesting. Just shit like that, man. Mm. I don't, if you had a feelings like that as well, leave us below what this album, if you've listened to it, made you feel after a first listen or after multiple listens. Because at the moment, I'm feeling just like, like I said, a bit puzzled and shocked and I'm not too sure how I feel about it. I can see that it's, it is a beautiful album many ways, but I can get why it's described as having huge dark elements to it. Very eerie as well with a lot of the vocals that are on this album right. too that aren't the main focus. Like the vocals play a huge role in just toning this album. And to me, those reasons why it makes people feel uncomfortable is actually why I quite like it and enjoy it. Yeah. Um, it, it's, yeah, it's quite pretty beautiful, as you said, and I think it's packaged in a way that's quite unique and groundbreaking in a lot of ways. And that really makes me curious to go back to this and uncover more pieces of the puzzle. And even some of their albums before this, because I think the, the, the album they had before this won the best the best album in like you said the uk oh right around that award yeah yeah and i found out that scotland is a part of the uk which is why it's the uk irish award because scotland is part of the uk so they won that and they also won a lot more rewards so they've definitely made their mark and this is the album after that one so i'm gonna have to go back to that album the one that, that did really well Thank you for recommending this and getting on us because this is a challenging album that challenged us as the listener in was person. It, was it Noah that told us? I think so. I think it was you, Noah. If not, thank you all that uh, hit us up about this. It's been really challenging and really uh, great to listen to this. And it'll be interesting to head back into it and see how it grows with me and what I figure out from that. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Mm. Um, by Jungle Beats, I'm Alexander Sandalis. I can't remember what my name was. Oh. I think it was... Uh, Oh, that's right. It was fucking Evil Ocarina. Cool. I think. Yeah, make sure to stay tuned, man. <laughs> if you want to see more of this nonsense. <laughs>